Hi folks, welcome back to my World of Tanks replays with the Mighty Jingles and today we're on the Russian T-34 Tier 5 medium tank. Um, it's one of my favourite tanks. Uh, I, I like pretty much all the Tier 5 mediums. Uh, I think they're all great tanks. They all serve a, uh, they all fill a, a certain niche, they all have a, a certain style of play. Um, if you look at the German Panzer IV for example, um, it's, it's a medium tank, yep, but with that great uh, L70 gun that it gets, it's a very good sniper. The T-34 is more of a flanking tank uh, and the M4 Sherman seems to sort of sit somewhere between the two. But the T-34, uh, let's take a look. Um, first of all the armour, because um, this was the most distinctive feature of the tank when it was first introduced. The German army came across this thing on the Eastern Front during Operation Barbarossa and they had no clue how to defeat it. Uh, standard issue German tank guns at the time, 50mm, they just couldn't penetrate the armour. Uh, the shots were hitting and bouncing off at all angles, and that's because the T-34 was the first mass-produced tank to incorporate sloped armour into its design. And what that did was, if you look at the armour, it's 45mm thick, front, side and rear, same armour protection everywhere, but the sloping uh, did two things. First, it increased the chance that a shot was going to ricochet when it hit, and second, it increased the effective armour from 45 millimeters to effectively being, I think, something in the region of 60 millimeters thick, which meant that you can have a 45 millimeter, 45 millimeters of armor on your tank, and effectively get 60 millimeters for exactly the same weight. So what you ended up with was a tank that was uh, just as small and fast, but more heavily armored than its counterparts. Um, yeah, great tank. We said small and fast. Well, it certainly is fast. 56 kilometers per hour speed limit. Although the acceleration isn't fantastic, it's a little sluggish going from a start and it tends to bleed off the speed when it corners, but it does a very, very fast turning rate, 40 degrees per second. That's really, really good. Um, which means what this tank is very good at is getting around the flanks and uh, harassing your uh, heavies from the side. And it can go one on one against most of the other mediums of its own tier and one above without too many problems. Um, how does it do that damage? Well, it's pretty much all down to this gun, 57mm ZIS-4. Look at the rate of fire on that, 26.25 rounds per minute, that is phenomenal. And 112mm of penetration, that is really, really good. Damage, not so good. Good accuracy, nice short aiming time. So this thing just pumps the shots out, and because of that high penetration, they tend to all damage. So it kind of mitigates the fact that it's only doing an average of 85 damage per shot because it's pumping them out so quickly and the ones that hit are all going through. So because of that, I tend to find that the T-34 is slightly more at the mercy of the matchmaker than, for example, the uh, Panzer IV. Whereas the Panzer IV, if you find yourself in a Tier Eight game, well, you've still got that really good, accurate, decent penetration gun, so you can hang back and play as a sniper and still damage, if you pick your shots carefully, the tier 8 tanks. If you're in a T-34, and to a lesser degree the Sherman, uh, if you want to damage them, you've got to get around them. You've got to use your mobility to flank them, shoot them from the sides, and get out. And that's a more dangerous play style than playing the Panzer IV as a sniper. Um, but it does mean that your games can be a lot more fun. So uh, there's a replay I've prepared and uh, let's have a look. So uh, the T-34, uh, here's a game I prepared earlier. Um, the game I did have a game before this, uh, it was a tier 8 match on Dragon's Ridge and it, it didn't go well. Uh, rushed along the top of the ridge to get to uh, the flank of the enemy uh, back road, ran into two Type 59s and a Jagdpanther. Um, it didn't end well. This match, on the other hand, um, yeah, this was fun. Now, we're not top dog. Right down the middle uh, of the team list, it's a tier 6 game. And there's a lot of medium tanks running around here. It's also uh, one of the new... Uh, I'm trying to think of the right word here. Um, one of the new scenarios, one of the new game modes. Introduced in patch 7.4, this is a encounter mission where both teams are fighting over the same cap point. So, uh, you do get a certain amount of freedom, I feel, when you're not top dog in a game. Um, 
the outcome isn't as likely to rest on your shoulders. And, oh, weird old camera angle. And you can pretty much go where you want and do what you want. Um, so we're all rushing here to cover the cap circle and deny it to the enemy team. And let's see what the T-34 can do. So, well, we're not going to get there ahead of the T-50s. <laughs> but other than the T-50, we're the first on the scene of the crime. And... Get ourselves into cover behind that little bush there. Ooh, an A-20. They're hit! That's gotta hurt. Just look at this ray of fire. Nice shot! And as you can see, our sights are aiming as fast as we can reload. Just perfect. Oh, he's on fire. They're knocked down. Totally ninja that kill. Alright, let's see what we can see. But a great little scout here. He's really doing his thing. Goes quiet and uh, 3601H. Okay, I really don't want to get shot at by that fella, so we'll leave him for somebody else. Like artillery. Here we go. Enemy heavy tank. It's only a BDR, tier 5 French heavy, but we can certainly cause him all sorts Enemy of problems. Armor is hit. Enemy is hit. Looks like that one went right through. Enemy armor is hit. Gotcha. There we go. Kill number two. Oh, VK three six or one. That one didn't go through. Damn, these things have got good armor. Looks like that one went right through. Ah, oh, backed up there because I thought someone pointing his gun towards me. Got him. Let's kill three. Right, let's help out with this 3601. I can't penetrate him. We didn't even scratch him. Just hit him on the right spot. We've just dinged him. This is the beauty of the Zis 4 we didn't gun. Penetrate their armor. If at first you don't penetrate, try again. Because it fires so quickly. Right, at this point, I'm noticing a medium tank over by our starting point, and I'm worrying about artillery, but no, he's moved. He doesn't seem to be spotted, so... Looks like that one went right through. Right. The M4 Sherman Easy 8 Very, very fast firing. Accurate 76mm gun. And I don't want to get into a shooting contest with that guy. So, take my shot. Get out of the way before he starts returning fire. But this is very, very dangerous. Right through their Tier 6 armor. French tank destroyer, the ARLV-39. If hit. he's got that 90mm DCA-45 gun, it's the same gone. one Find the French heavy tank. The AMX-M4 has. So taking him out like is very important. We didn't even scratch them. Enemy is hit. Penetration. Enemy armor is destroyed. Let's kill number five. Technically, we're losing. It's been a fast and furious game. Oh, KV-1 shooting at me. Can't have that. that sounds like artillery. But I could definitely take that KV-1, even if he hits me. I've got enough health. I'm going to use this dead Hetzer here to cover my lower hull up. And there he is. Enemy is hit. And our arty kills him. Nice shot. Um, hmm, who's left? Let's zip around and find out. Oh, an AMX-40 now. These guys... We've lost the track. We're can be a tough nut to crack. Ricochet. Very, very rounded armor. 
So I know Artie's shooting at me, but not a lot I can do with the damaged track. Tracks up, let's go. So yeah, he's dead. He's not spotting us for Artie anymore. So two artillery, one T thirty four. Let's go root them out. I tend to find in these new game modes nobody actually goes for the capture. It's just a straightforward battle to the death. Uh, and I'm fine with that. Oh, T-34. Come on. And I... Penetration. What guns he have? Yeah, he looks like he's got the same gun as me. Which isn't unusual. So where's their army hiding? Uh, there's one over there. Which are tier sixes are going after. But I am going to get this guy. We nailed it back. Enemy armor is destroyed. There's Top Gun. Which is nice. There's one more arty around somewhere. Hey, there he is. And I th I think this guy is AFK. Enemy is hit. Or he's given up. Penetration. Ah, uh, that's game over. So, between me and one of the VK3601s, we killed two thirds of the enemy team. Which is nice. Uh, yeah. And uh, there you go. I mean, 50 shots fired. You don't see that often. And that's the rate of fire of that Zis Ford gun. It is absolutely phenomenal. And more than half of them actually hit the bloody target. Which is uh, a testament to the accuracy of that little gun. Only took two hits. Um, and there you go, Top Gun. Now this is one of the reasons why people keep a tier 5 medium tank, and that is for farming credits. 42,373. In a tier 5 game, that's... You ne it's like the Panzer IV and the M4 Sherman. You are never going to lose money on these tanks. Keeping a couple of these little fellas, uh, and running them out for a couple of battles every day, this funds everybody's tier 9 and 10s. Uh, you don't need to rush out and buy a premium tank. They do make more money. The Type 59, when it's available in the store, the Lerva, um, the Churchill. They do make good money. Um, the tier 8 premiums especially. But they cost you real money. A tier 5 medium doesn't cost you real money. And it turns a tiny profit. So... T-34, Tier 5, Russian, medium tank. It's fantastic. I really, really like this tank. Uh, so, I um, hope you enjoyed that video. I've been the Mighty Jingles. Catch you next time.